In this video, I'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out MIDI in Ableton. This was a requested video, and of course, I make all these videos for you. So if you do have any comments or questions or anything you want me to do a video about, post it in the comment section below. Jumping into it, this is my track, Techno at the After Party. I'll play you a little bit of it. I know, some shameless self-promotion. It's kind of like a low-key, after-hours, kind of minimal techno vibe. So I'll play you a little bit of it. Something about you. Right, very kind of low key, very minimal. About your feels. Right, kind of get the idea. So anyway, let's jump into the main point of this video. I'm gonna go to, let's go to this little bass thing I have here, right? So I'm gonna play this. Now there's mainly, I'd say, two ways to fade in and fade out MIDI. Um, I mean, there's a million ways to do this, but here are the two easiest in my opinion. First one I'm going to show you is what's called freezing and flattening. Sometimes I do this purposely. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate whatever I want, right? So now I have this. Next thing, you know, I'm going to delete actually all the rest of these lines so it's a little bit easier to show you, right? So, so I duplicate. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, freeze and flatten. Now, basically what I just did as I took the mini notes, converted them to audio files. This is also good for processing power and a lot more. So I can mute this, right? Because I have basically the same thing duplicated. Now, if I want to fade it in and fade it out, I can do it very easily. Where, let's like, say I have this, I can just do that, right? So I'll solo this to show you. Right, or fade out. Just say fade out any kind of audio file. I right, actually probably do that a little bit more. <laughs> Right? You get the idea. So that's the first way you can do it, is doing freezing and flattening. Now, let's say you don't really care to do that. Um, here's kind of the main, I'd say, two ways I'd suggest it. First, I'm going to go to Audio Effects, go down to Utility. This is going to pop up. I'm then going to right-click on Gain, go to Show Automation. Now, this is basically adjusting the volume. So I could do this, and then do this. Right? So now I have this. Oh, let me solo this. Right now, if you want that curvature, I can do Alt. I feel like I said that in a very Boston accent. Curvature, supposed to curvature. Um, I can uh, hold Option, excuse me, on my keyboard and do it like this. So let's say I want to kind of have this like that. You can do this for any automation, by the way, not just for uh, gain on utility. Right. So actually, probably this makes more sense. Bring this like here, maybe. Oh. Um. All right. So I can do something like this. Right, so it kind of swoops in right away. Oh, shoot. Probably keep this more at uh, zero. I was like, why is that clipping? So remember to keep it at zero, of course. Or, I hate when Ableton does, but like... Right. Um, one thing I want to say is, and I did a video about this, where I went in depth about why. Do not, ever, 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 do not just do this and adjust it here. I know some people, this is a very rookie mistake. I used to do this. The reason why is it comes down to something called mixing, because like I said, I want to turn this entire line down of everything going on here, and you go to turn it down, you'll notice, boom, the automation goes away, right? So just trust me, if you are looking to fade in and fade out MIDI, and you're using this via audio effects, just use utility and then use gain. It will save you tons of time in the long run when it comes to mixing. Just trust me, right? Second way you can do this, honestly, is, oh, I'm going to delete this, of course, I don't want this, um, is now, lastly, auto filter. Um, I find this is kind of a cool way to do it as well. Um, I'm actually going to go to the first part of the track where I have this kind of looping. So I have this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, I mean, I can either do it like this or like this, right? Depending on what, whatever you're kind of looking for. If I'm looking to do more of like a high cut or a low cut. I feel like in this case, I'll probably start here and bring it up. And I just adjust the frequency, put this here. Right, click any other point that I want, go down. And this is the second way to do it. Now, the difference is with utility, like I showed you, think of it like a volume knob. You're just turning the volume up. With this, I'm slowly bringing in certain frequencies. So it depends on kind of the, the more vibe or the ambience that you want. There's not actually a right or wrong answer to this. Um, it's more just personal preference. So I have this now. I should bring this up a little bit. 
So this way, I think it's a bit more suspenseful, right? You're hearing the low end first, and you're like, you can kind of feel it almost like a, like a rumble, so to speak. And then it slowly comes in. So I can bring this, actually, let's do this, like this, right? So... Right, and then I can bring it back down. Let's just do this. Right, and then of course, if I want to do it in a high end, this is more of a low end instrument, so I don't, or sense, so I feel like really, oh, no, I don't want to mod, I don't want to automate that. Um, just put this here, and now you hear this. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Right, now I'm just taking out the low end until we get to the high end, and then it goes back down. 